Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Heels, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this amazing Monday. Girl, we are we are starting the week. We are going there little by little, trying to do our thing, trying to like reconnect after a crazy weekend because we just came from celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Am I right? All right, guys. Let me know how how is this week. You know handling you um girl it is time to talk about vanderpump rules okay more tea coming from vanderpump rules uh first of all during the weekend the reunion was filmed mr andy cohen was here in los angeles you know doing its thing having fun and of course filming the reunion and i we didn't receive too much tea you know, related to the reunion, which basically probably is kind of like telling me that it was not as dramatic as last season, you know. Um, some of some of the people were even seeing like out together, you know, Sheena Shea, uh, Brooke and Lala Kang were together after the reunion, you know, eating like Mexican food and dancing and having fun, you know. So um, definitely, I th of course, I mean, we will always get drama because that's literally what happens at these reunions. But I don't think it was that crazy like we were expecting, which I was already, yeah, like I we I kind of already feeling it, you know. I will even go so far into saying that we will probably only get a two-part reunion, not because the season is being bad, because the season is actually being quite good, you know, uh, but it was not a scandal. I don't think we will ever have another season like Scandal unless something really, really crazy happened, you know? So let's wait and see, right? Now, let's talk about Sheena Shea for a second because she, you know, her podcast, Shenanigans, she was talking about something that a lot of people had something to say. The show was show on the last episode of Vanderpump Rules was, was, of course, the yoga meditation segment, you know, where Sheena sit down with Tom Sandoval for the very first time and they have to like do all of this exercise to the point that Sheena could not take it anymore and she was like bitch I am out I am not doing this anymore you know um a lot of people were asking like why did you sit there what was your intention why don't see it another place you know and Sheena is kind of like shading some light you know uh, onto the situation that really went down apparently when Sheena came down, of course, she did not sit with uh, Tom Sandoval. She, in fact, sit down with James and Ali, the same spot that Brock had, you know. And they were there together, you know, but Brock was not there. And then the yoga teacher was the one who told her to please sit down with Tom Sandoval because they were, be going, they were gonna be doing some exercises, you know, and that they needed to be in pairs. She says that she was completely uncomfortable, that she did not want to do it. But at the end of the day, she talked to herself and she said this, look, you are here, you are doing your job. So just do it, you know, just do what you have to do and move on. And then she actually said, well, if we, if we could get some kind of healing from this process, why not doing it anyways, you know? And that's why she ended up moving from being with James and Ali to Tom Sandoval. And that's why then later when Brooks arrived, Brock arrived, you know, they put him with uh, them. She says that it was a very hard to go through the whole process that she, again, was completely uncomfortable. She was not ready to have that closeness with Tom Sandoval and uh that's why she ended up basically having a full-on meltdown you know because she was not ready it was just too much look i believe that i i you know what what where my stand is you know from all of this season i have always believed that the feelings that sheena had were 100 percent valid and real you know she is trying to mourn the friendship that she had to sacrifice in order to keep her friendship with Ariana Maddox, you know? So she's mourning that. She doesn't know how to navigate these waters. It is not easy 
to cut someone from your life that literally has not done anything to you personally. Okay? And I think that's something that people can like do not understand or people cannot see. They think like, oh, Tom Sandoval did this horrible thing to Ariana Maddox, then it will be so easy for the rest of the world to cut him. But it doesn't work like that. Because if if someone does not do something to you personally, believe me, it's not gonna feel natural. You know, you may have some hate, you not, not even hate, you might have some like uh disbelieving, or you may feel a certain way, you know. But it's going to be very hard to be like, okay, I cannot talk to you anymore because you betrayed my other friend. But what does have to do with me? You know what I mean? So that's why I have always given Sheena a lot of grace because, yes, she has the right to grieve. She has the right to do what's best for her. And people should be, sorry, guys, people should be giving her, you know, that time, that period, and Ariana, even Ariana should be understanding, you know, I will, I will never think that it's okay for Ariana to make people choose, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, she's not making them choose, she's just putting boundaries, it's the same shit, you know, I'm so sorry, and it's not that it is wrong, but when you are on a reality TV show, and it is so obvious that Tom Sandoval will never be fired because she has he has businesses with Lisa Vanderpump and because this is an ensemble and because the producers are not going to allow him to be alienated from the rest of the group girl you have to put on your big bigger pants and just do what you need to do you know you don't have to be best friends you don't have to trust him you don't have to do absolutely anything but you cannot ask people to choose between you or him you know because it's just not going to work out you are going to be icing out yourself and only you and um yeah and i respect sheena so much i think that she's going through a lot and i understand her and i probably are able to understand her because i have said this before i went through a similar process i i i know where she's standing i know what she's feeling and it is what it is period that all right guys but that's my humble opinion that nobody asked for so let me know what is your opinion you can leave it on the comments below you know that i don't delete comments unless they are racist or homophobic, you know? So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what do you think about Sheena? What do you think about the reunion? What do you think is gonna be happening next? Let me know, and if you wanna get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video and share this video. Girl, My all my collaborations are very much active. You know that I'm still working with Rose Forever, uh, liquid iv beauty uv cameo and my own merch you can find everything the links are on the description below with their respective discount codes okay so go and check it out and don't, if you're new here subscribe 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 and i'll see you around see ya bye